Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lamplighter's League. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of this wonderful game. It's time for another mission and we need to decide what we want to do. Week 6 comes with a lot of decisions to make and uh, since we do have enough intel I am contemplating to send two mission, uh, two um, agents on a potential um, assignment. One here. I hope it's worth the time. One there. Might uncover additional missions and we are going to interfere with the network up here. That'll dial uh, back uh, Nicastro's clock. Marto on the other hand will get a bit of a progress. We get six skill uh, points the reward is really bad, uh, but we get one in, uh, intel at least back, so that's not too bad. Unfortunately, we don't have other agents, which we had, but soon that is going to change. We're going to get a new agent, hopefully. In terms of equipment, I think we're okay. We're actually quite uh, good, uh, well equipped, so let's start the mission stir up some trouble I just up ahead just don't blow up anything valuable yeah. like say me <laughs> alliance are nice don't blow up anything valuable say don't me wander. Good. I have to wonder where are we going? So this is some solid second uh, wind in here. Not bad. I'll take it. And we got even some more. Pick up some lore. Okay. Some bandages, if needed. We don't currently need them, but that doesn't mean. Uh, we don't need them soon and a couple more grenades cool so we got our potential work cut out uh, cut out for us fallen creatures of the devouring king tides fall hunt in packs and have a taste for human blood oh immune to takedowns that is not good at all Okay, if they hunt in packs, why is that guy alone? Or does they hunt in packs mean there are more? Surprisingly large, by the way. Let's get rid of him. Immune. Okay. That should be good. No, that's not good. Immune to knockdown actually means immune to all knockdowns. Ouch. Okay, cool. Or not. Double hit. I like it. Followed up by... Double hit, he's dazed. Um, he's also blinded, which allows us to move to here. Can't deal enough damage to get him down in one go. Should have used the Herald beforehand. More crit chance, more crit damage. But it's okay. We'll, we're going to do that the next time. At the moment, we're just self-buffing. There we go. 
Let him do his thing. He has Blade Storm as well. Okay, I see how it is. There's no reason to draw a fight out. End it quick as you can, however you can. Good. Wasted two starter abilities. Should be of interest to lock. But we learned more about these things. What do we have here? More intel, fantastic. A big massive fed court checkpoint. Uh oh. Good, well, that's good enough for me. Three down. A thing is coming in. There is another guard over here. And something, something is happening up there. Hey, what's that over there? Good, our engagement tools are gone. So from now on, it's straight up damage and fighting. Unless, of course, we're finding some sort of a good explosion. Potent tide spawn. Hmm. Well, it's not. We need to get over here. Can't really reach the guy up there. Might as well just go with the potent tide spawn for now. Nice little critical hit. Enemy is alerted. Good. We are going to use the Herald. Getting one AP back, so we're now inspired. Um, problem with Eddie is he will trigger attacks of opportunity. But better trigger one now than later. Push kick won't work because I think they are immune to pushing, right? Okay. <laughs> what are we going to do? I think I do have an idea. Stick and move. There you go. He's blinded. That gives us a free move. Which we're going to use to go over here into full cover. And here we're just going to put Come evasion on. on. He should still be following us. I don't think so. There we go. Nice little hit. Knock him down. 
That is interesting. I thought that was impossible, but apparently it is not. Double hit. Doing a nice little double whammy combo. This guy needs to die. Killer instinct. Into more damage and we can just walk up. Oh, we can't uh, move the entire turn. The unquiet elsewise is going to punish us. Okay, listen, we still got all of our stuff. Would need to climb up there in order to get the good stuff. But no one of us can climb. Although, we can just move over. Taking second wind. Okay, if I remember correctly, we have left um, one of, I think bandages are up there. Yep, there we go. And we have another one further back in the camp. Cool, what I'm just realizing is our engagement tools are refreshing with uh, Second Wind. So you will excuse me when we're rushing back, just get uh, that extra engagement because listen, having a single kill before we even go into the combat, very, very powerful. Oh, we even get the full um, order back. Well, that is it. <laughs> okay, we're back in business, baby. We are back in business. It is as if we would have used nothing so far. Full hit points, full consumables, full engagement tools. Thank you, Second Wind. Optional steel, the dispatches, where are those? Somewhere down there. Okay. Let's do the optional part first. Can't really get down there. That is the target of the agents is here to sabotage, destroy it by taking or destroying generators around it. The generators have built in defense protocol that activates when they take damage. Nip it in the butt uh, by destroying every generator before the time runs out. Uh oh. Okay, listen. I want the uh, I want to do the optional stuff first. How do I get down there? All I ever wanted was to get down there and do the optional stuff. Then we'll do the main camp because I know myself. If we're now doing the main camp, there's never going to be the optional stuff. Unbelievable how difficult it seems to be to just get down there. 
to the dispatches. Good, nice little outpost here. Okay, these guys are wet. This always works. <laughs> okay. Still three more back there. Ingrid slightly moves up. Come on, go check it out. You know you wanna. All right, that was a failure. That thing is blocking us pretty hard. That's not right. Ah, I was trying to get to the back line. Potentially a bit too greedy. One, two, three. Let's light them up. All of them are marked and we'll leave their respective cover could throw a bomb to take these two guys out not the worst idea Hmm. What are we really afraid uh, of? So we can make this guy here blind. Alternatively, push kick this guy into this guy. Should work. Let's try that. Uh, the answer is new. No. Not enough distance. Hmm. No. Moves up, blinds her. And we get a free movement to here. She might come up and we're going to attack of opportunity her. Wow, lots of enemies. Let's use the Herald. Just 
Texas. Now that Nice. Lots of dazing. And this here would be deal 40 damage, shreds 10 armor. Moves to here. You're in over your head. Hits these two guys and puts them down via knockdown. Okay. Done. Getting more AP. We're good. We're good. Okay, one and two. Let's. Very nice to hit both of them. That allows us to continue our streak. The problem is... We will kill one, but we will take an attack in retaliation. I think that's still fair. That was your last chance. Never mind, we critted. Could move up. Not going to do that. Instead, I think we're just going to evade take in order to bait the shot. One, two. Y'all see that? Another great shot. You really want to impress me? Do that again. Very nice. He keeps one ammo because he has critted a lot, uh, so that's not bad. I'm going to blind her. Moves over to here for free, and we're just going to evade. Take this. There's the attack of opportunity, and we're having a lot of uptime. Nice. There's the kill. Thanks, partner. That could have gone bad. Okay, a couple of things did not work according to plan at all. Okay, breathe through the nose. There we go. All things considered, once we were having a proper fight, we actually managed to surprisingly yeah, well this. keep our position. The armor definitely, definitely helped. Let me hold on to this. Good. Optional task done. We're down to only one engagement tool. Everything else is down. Not the best situation for getting into the last camp. <clears throat> our pristine situation uh, from just a couple of uh, minutes ago is now tainted.
The engagement was quite bad. Oh, well, not quite bad, but it could, it could have gone uh, smoother. This ought to come in handy. Another second wind for his uh, shock grenades would be great. Because they mean that we have two kills immediately. Just can't hit those beasts. They apparently have shock immunity. And they are going to pretty much ignore them, therefore. Uh, does that up there look like I could jump over? No, potentially not. Okay, well, that's going to be rough. Guess that'll do for now. We're back to full healing. This here would have been a perfect uh, secret hideout for another second wind. Hang back. Okay. That's as good as it gets. Really don't have that much uh, more. Do I have to do everything myself? Light them up. Only two targets. I don't like that. Um, let's hit this target two times. And I'm reading reinforcements and thinking. Mm. Enemies nicely alerted. Get that thing down. Fantastic. Uh, going to use our onslaught ability for that. Let's try it. Okay, we can normally knock it down, which is a huge, huge benefit. Um, I think I like our position there. Isn't that a lovely sight? The thing is dazed and knocked down. Don't tell me we need to push into these f uh, goons. Rounds under radioactive uh, defense is active. Destroy radio uh, towers. Okay, well, uh, okay. Not great. I'm just trying to dish out as much damage as we can. I need to get uh, in there and I need to get in there quite far. So here's the kill. 
That'll give us a free movement all the way to here. Can hit her. Just out of curiosity, can we... Yeah, we can hit both of these guys. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay. Even better than expected. Which we could use this here in order to get both of you down. And that'll be a kill because we do have Blade Storm. And whatever he does, he will trigger. Unfortunately, he got his stupid um, his stupid smoke bomb off. Destroy radio tower generators. Which I think these things are the generators. Going to take some damage just for moving over. But that's okay. Moves in, hits the guy and hits him very, very well. Under this will get us into cover. And we destroyed one of the generators as part of it, thanks to the AoE attack. So three are remaining. And how many rounds do we have left? Rounds until the defense activates. Okay, well, next round we're going to throw a grenade. Since we did uh, hit her... We can go in again. Hmm. We would take damage. But we would have Bladestorm on our side. We need to use Bladestorm even if we take damage. Elsewise, we're not dealing enough damage in the short amount of time. Did he just hit for 70? Wow. That's a lot of damage. We destroyed three out of four. It's a good start. Killer Instinct back. Evening. 
Almost got her down. One less to worry about. And that should be the last one. That's it. The target is in ruins. Time to scram. I am wondering where the escape is coming from. Well, before we are continuing to wander, let's move into the shadows. Going to use the Herald again. Come on. Nice little inspiration here. Not bad. Uh, we could, however, move to over here and uh, do what every sane individual would do, which is a big fat overwatch as melee characters are charging in. Healing ourselves and we're moving up. Can't fully reach them. There is a bit of an attack. We're going to take damage. But I want to make sure that we're dealing more damage. That's the whole point of it. Okay, there are two enemies back there. Careful. Down, boy. Light him up. One, two, three. And just skip this one. Marked, flushed. And are we continuing? 55%. You know what? Go for it. One hit. That's all we've got. One lousy hit. Not quite the knockdown, but Oh nice. We got we got the knockdown. And I would just put up evade. Does he have two attacks? Not sure. We're going to find out. We're definitely able to punish him. That is that. Cool. This team isn't bad at all. We have here? Couple of frag grenades. More intel. Oh, there is a moat back there. Nice. Moat of fate. Another card. Cool. That was a an ultra valuable mission we got so much stuff out of it and 
the missions become longer and longer now that we are playing. Uh, before we're just leaving the frag grenade behind, <clears throat> not that we're going to use them. A souvenir. But a frag grenade is better than no frag grenade. If you know what I mean, maybe we can disassemble them for materials. <laughs> Two man mission. And we got even the uh, mm, optional objectives. I'm not sure if we're crushing it hard, but I think we're ahead of the curve. Good, look at that. The Fallen and the Monument. <clears throat> monument. Uh, inflicts two stress on surrounding enemies. Yeah, I'm not the biggest stress fan. Maybe I'm underestimating it. Ranged ability deals damage that ignores armor. Accurate at medium range. Hmm. That's not bad. One load to the node. That's all it should take. Getting some more ink. Fantastic. Another potential agent, eh? Madame A, a fortune teller, is uh, with the circus Zarath traveling marvels. She's been asking questions about the undrawn hand for years. She, uh, she got fascinated with a legendary card deck of erstwhile Lamplighter's leak. Uh, she might be the greatest living expert on the undrawn hand that puts her on my map, and the court is not far behind. A promising lead. I wasn't looking for Amina. I sent an agent look for allies, hoping to find a surgeon on the black market, apothecary who could handle the medical needs, no question asked. Instead, uh, the agent returned uh, the news of Magdalit uh, Hospital, raided by the court. It's Ebbe's mission in action. Somehow I knew the Ebbe's name before it even was turning the page. Mother Amina. Okay. Cool. Court activity. Marteau is building up some threat. And overall, we're doing well. So, in terms of agents, can we upgrade that hand? That would cost 32. Okay, uh, the answer is no. <clears throat> we're going to save skill points because I want Killer Instinct to continue. Fantastic. World map. What, what, what? Fate event. A thick photo shrouds. Uh, Kiliandri harbor off the coast of Mombasa. Rumors about that the court intends to smuggle a shipment of a local artifact of the court. Uh, relics possessed of dangerous occult power. The information uh, presented the league with an advantage. How do we best seize this? Sabotage the court's equipment. Minus one to all of them. Spread disinformation where we're getting more ink or replace the shipment. Hmm. Uh, minus on their uh, mm, effects only is really effectful if Strum did have things that they were doing. So instead, let's just replace the shipment and we're getting some supplies. Always fair prices here, but you know that. We have enough armor, so we don't need the same armor. You need something special from me? 
can't really get there yet, so that's out of the question as well. Now we can't unlock. It's kind of a bit of a dead level this time. But we're okay. I think we're fine. We got a lot of intel. We got some healing. I don't know what heal is used for. I suppose we're getting a healer at some point that uh, will take care of more severe injuries. And we got a couple of uh, skill points, but that will only matter next time. For now, I think we're done. That was a very, very interesting mission. I see that we have a lot of intel now because we select we collected literally four intel and got that fate event in our favor so that's another supply and wait 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 wait, wait. So we had one item that we were getting didn't we there we go vitality gear that's 200 supplies um max hit points 30 max stress uh, plus two i think that is overall better Although we're not having any armor. 170, 140. Sure, you know what? Go for it. Everybody else takes the normal armor. Ingrid needs the extra hit points. We're at 170 health. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. So good equipment and we got some supplies on top of it. So essentially we traded it in for 225 supplies. And as far I as I am concerned, supplies are a wonderful, wonderful um, resource. We do have 150, which gives us enough for an accuracy talisman. And that bad boy will go to you. As, wait a second, that, uh, can we put a weapon mod on her? Hmm. Good question. Potentially, I would rather give her the critical strike weapon mod so that she crits more often um, and then creates dazing attacks on her crits. That is, that would be helpful. But yeah, we can do that the next time. Still got that slot open for dazing attacks. Uh, the ranged DPS all do have a scope now. We do have armor. Yep, we're getting equipped, guys. Very, very nice. Let's take a quick look, uh, a sneak peek for the next time. So we got ourselves um, a weapon mod, Flash Talisman. Collect materials and search the safe house, restock uh, some time and that would be good what else is the option light armor and more armor material that's great as well I think it is clear oh we can get new agents I was about to say it, is, it seems to be clear we're actually fighting them. Trace uh, Morto is personally overseeing this mission. Seven skill points. Holy. Oh, that's a good one. But here's the kicker. <clears throat> if we get a further agent, we actually should be very uh, happy about that because then we can do even more uh, missions. Can we assign multiple agents? Uh, can, can we actually do parallel missions? I think we cannot, right? No, the moment that we hit start mission, the game is not assuming that you would two man each of uh, the missions. So that's not going to work. So, Madame May is a cartomancer. What do we know about M Madame May? 
Access undrawn hand upgrades in the hideout. Okay. <clears throat> Recruit Amina to access health and healing upgrades in the hideout. Hmm. That sounds pretty damn potent. That, on the other hand, will give us the maximum skill points. But here's the deal. We could still get Flash Talisman and uh, Light Armor plus all of that. And on top of that, do a recruitment mission. Both of the recruitment missions set back Marto, who seems to be most active at the moment. <coughs> Hmm. Difficult choice. I mean, it's one, two, three, four, five actions. I, what I would want to do is do two of the main missions together, like this one here, uh, assigned two agents, and then uh, this one here, assigned two agents, and just go ham, do both of the missions. That would be the optimal play, but I think that's not how the game works. Good. We'll figure it out, guys. We'll figure it out. I think I'm going to rescue the healer. <coughs> Although the Black Hand upgrades might be interesting as well, but we don't have enough ink at the moment. So, yeah, we're going to figure, uh, figure that out. The other alternative is straight up let these uh, missions still stay and then go for him. But the reward is, the only reward is we're um, pushing back on their progress. Now, I think we, rescuing more is the right call. Good, that's it for today. If you enjoy Lamplighter's League, uh, then today, uh, please answer the question, which of uh, the missions would you generally do? Would you um, try to recruit as many people as possible, like I'm doing it? Or would you just... Uh, go for the hardest missions in order to set back the court. I'd be curious uh, how you would approach it. Thanks a lot for watching guys and see you in the next episode. Bye bye